And welcome everybody to this week's fishy and very exciting episode. <laughs> I like that. I didn't know you were going to do that. <laughs> I just thought of it. <laughs> yeah, very fishy episode. Very fishy mm. episode. And uh, not only fishy, uh, it's a bit random, I suppose, is it, the way. Very random. Yeah, you've been putting this one off for a couple of uh, turns now, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. So I thought um, with we've had quite a string of podcasts that have been a bit more intellectual, a bit more, yeah, maybe. you know, a, a bit more fact based. And I thought, why don't we just do something just as for, a, the, for the hell of it? <laughs> yeah, something a bit random and a bit funny, and you know, a little bit of a myth. And <laughs> I've been putting it off. And then I started doing research on it, and I got an hour in, and I thought, why am I doing this? This is nonsense. But I was already committed, and you, I thought... I'm, you were committed to the task. I'm not wasting an hour. I, I gave you the option of just ditching it and doing something else, yeah. and you were like, no, I've filled up two pages already. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going ahead with it. Yeah. So this week, we are doing... Mermaids and Sirens. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I never thought at the age of 33 I'd be doing a podcast on mermaids Trying and Trying to find out if mermaids are real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Newsflash, no. <laughs> no, they're not. Save it to the end. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, if anyone is listening to this podcast going, oh, I don't know, I'm on the fence, then... No, it's not. <laughs> I can tell you now from the start, you're going to be very disappointed if you're on the fence about mermaids. Right, okay. But so who are we to say that they didn't exist back in the day? Well, maybe. The, the myth has got to have come from somewhere. Hasn't exactly, it? yeah. So in present times, no, I don't believe they're about. But Although we did see that video on TikTok earlier of someone that had been swallowed by a tuna or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a kid Look, was... looked like a mermaid. <laughs> yeah, a little kid eaten by a, a tuna fish and everyone thought it was a mermaid and it's clearly a fish just trying to swallow a child. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. But anyway, should we uh, dive into... Well, are, we, are we going into the history of mermaids? We are, yeah. I'll, yeah, give yeah. A, I'll give a brief description of what a mermaid is if oh, no like one knows. Oh, anybody doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for those who don't know, um, mermaids are half fish, half woman, <laughs> or a merman is half fish, half man. Wow, yeah. I mean, the facts that just come out on this podcast. <laughs> you know, I only speak in truths, mate. <laughs> no lies here. So, okay. So, in all seriousness, then, right? Where did where did your research lead you? Okay, so. <laughs> I'm going to go straight into sirens. I'm going to do mermaids afterwards because I actually found more research on sirens. And okay. There's actually a, a bit of history with sirens. I would imagine that sirens are kind of the original myth, aren't they? Yes, like they the are. Greek mythology and stuff. So. They are indeed. And also, I should just mention that if people are a bit confused, like, what is a siren? I've only heard of mermaids because there will be people out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, there will be. Um, in current day, in, in modern times... Sirens and mermaids are seen as pretty similar. Like, pretty much the same thing, yeah. Um, but yeah. there is slight differences. Some people say sirens are like an evil version of a mermaid. Oh. So right. um, they'll have like maybe spines coming out of their fins and webbed fingers and claws oh. and a bit of... Like, Venom. Yeah, a bit right. sharp teeth and just yeah, a bit yeah. more evil and mysterious. Pointy ears, maybe like an elf. Or a hooked nose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, combine a witch and a mermaid. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you I kind guess, of get yeah. a siren. Um, so sirens actually turn up in Greek mythology yes. quite a lot. The story of Odysseus or Ulysses. Yes, and that's the the first thing that I could find from a literary aspect, yeah. which was 750 BC. Good grief, was it that long ago? <laughs> yeah. Again, you surprised me with these datings. I didn't think that, well, I obviously knew it was, you know, a couple of thousand years ago or whatever, but mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, that, that, that's earlier than I thought. Yeah. yeah, and they were actually drawn all over pots and uh, cups and wood and all sorts of, um, I suppose, what you'd see in museums today. What, what like a, a lucky <clears throat> charm sort of thing? Or? Yeah, in a way. So yeah. they were kind of to depicted... Ward off the evil spirits and that. Yes, yeah. in a way, yeah, yeah. So they were just kind of um, 
held in high regard in Greek mythology as uh, being real. Oh, right. Okay. Um, but this might surprise you. Sirens didn't start off as fish people. No? They started off as bird people. Oh, oh birds. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, in, um, I don't want to ruin your um, thread, but yeah. um, in my, my mind, in my memory... I'm thinking sirens used to sit on the like little rock islands out in the sea, didn't mm-hmm. they? Yeah, yeah. And they would sing, is it? Yes. They'd sing to the sailors and try and lure them into the rocks, mm-hmm. crash their ships, and then eat the sailors or kill them or, or something like that, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. They would try and uh, kill sailors so I and guess pirates. One way or another, they'd have to be half fish or half bird to get out to those little islands, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. And so, what you just said is... The the main folklore and myth of mermaids and sirens is yeah. that is pretty much their whole story. So when I was doing this research, it doesn't doesn't matter what I put into the search engine, it always took me back to that the fable same story yeah. of singing enchanted songs and attracting sailors and pirates and seamen. So uh, sirens were originally described as beautiful women with bird bodies, and they also had talons and wings, and as well as pots and pans and cups they were also in lots of scripture oh okay all oh, right yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i thought he was, saying, he was trying to say that sirens had pots and pans and cups so <laughs> what's that relevant for they could <laughs> fry their own eggs i suppose, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> save that one for later yeah. <laughs> so they were actually connected to the queen of the underworld and the wife of hades persephone all oh, right now There's a couple of interesting stories in Greek mythology with sirens. So the most famous one is Persephone was taken by Hades. This is before he became his her she became his wife. Right. Hades took Persephone down to the underworld. So Persephone's mother, Demeter, uh, she gave the sirens wings to aid in the search for her daughter. So Right. But, but it was kind of a, a gift. It wasn't seen as evil or a punishment. It was seen as, um, what's it, like an honour? Like, a, I'm going to give you wings. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Give you the tools to help me. And they were her aides to find her daughter. But then I'd done more research. And some say that Demeter was angry for not protecting her daughter so she did transform the sirens to oh. ugly bird women, not beautiful As a women, curse. As a curse. Ah. So there's two stories there in mythology. But I like the first one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a nicer one, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I was um, just thinking, I mean, I wonder if through translation or something, the, the you know, the... the, the visual difference between wings and flippers is not massive is it i mean mm-hmm. pen- penguins have kind of got both at the same time <laughs> yeah yeah um and I, I just wondered if there was like a miscommunication somewhere ah. through the lines you know well a miscommunication you say well later on in my research all will become clear my friend okay yeah so there is actually i'm, I'm not a... digging too deep on that i don't want to get, a, get out of my head pirate no oh. there, there is actually a crossover right at, at some point um, so I've got a couple more Greek mythology stories about sirens. Yeah. So one was the sirens versus the muses. Oh. And I'm pretty sure this is where the band Muse got their name from because it it was a, a group of beautiful nymphs which would sing beautifully. Yes. And they would have a competition with the sirens to see who has the most beautiful voice. Oh, all right. And in Greek mythology, the muses always won. And as a result, as a punishment, the muses would then pluck out all the feathers of the sirens. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so there's another little story for yeah. you. Well, yeah, I suppose. Well, the mu mu uh, like legendarily, muses were kind of the entertainers to the gods, weren't they? Yes. So the sirens were already on a back foot there, really. Mm-hmm. Um, going in a singing competition with someone whose actual job. <laughs> is singing and entertainment. I think yeah. you're on a losing streak already. So, And then they got plucked and their, their wings turned into flippers. So well, we've explained that one. <laughs> no, not quite, not quite. We're not at the transition yet. Okay, go but, on, keep going, mate. Yeah, that is a bit odd that they just... Kind of, it didn't say whether they died or not. They just plucked out all the feathers of the sirens as a punishment. Uh, well, yeah, a, a, a bird without feathers probably isn't going to last very long. Mm. But not 
not simply because it lost its feathers. It, <laughs> it just lost its most of its mobility. <laughs> yeah. And the Greek mythology uh, sirens actually look a lot worse than the uh, the kind of mermaid version. Do they? Like, it is literally a woman's head on, like, a body of an eagle. Oh, nice. So, <laughs> like, not even a neck, either. It is literally just face instead of beak, pretty much. Like, it's, it's actually quite hilarious. So then we got Jason and the Argonauts. Yes. They, they've yes. popped up a few times in the podcast. Well, it's the original story of Odysseus, isn't it? And the... Um... Like yeah. Odysseus was his original name. Americans call him Ulysses, and the f- the, the the film or book or whatever uh, um, was, that came out uh, changed the name to Jason because that's a more Westernized name, and that's what we we relate to these days. You saying that makes so much more sense to me now, because when I was writing this down, I thought. This story seems awfully similar to Odysseus. <laughs> but it's the same person. It's the same story. Oh, that yeah. makes a lot more sense. Okay. So, well, I should just mention then Odysseus, um, when him and his sailors were, well, so is Jason and the Argonauts, same story. When they were sailing, yeah. they used to have the sailors. Oh, no, I've oh, the mic. Not the mic. That's the first time in a few podcasts. It is, yeah. We haven't done that for a while. I just got so excited. So, <laughs> they would actually fill. The sailors' ears with uh, wax, candle wax. Oh, so they couldn't hear the song of the sirens. Yeah, yeah and yeah, Odysseus yeah. himself, or Jason, whichever you'd prefer. Uh, with Ulysses. Ulysses. <laughs> he A would, man of uh, many names. <laughs> yeah, a.k.a. Jason. He would have the crew tie him to the main mast of the ship. That's right. To yeah, stop yeah, him yeah, from yeah. jumping overboard. But at the same time, still have someone controlling the ship. Yeah, um, and he he would uh, beg them to release him, wouldn't he? Yeah, he, he he'd beg them to untie him so he could go and find these beautiful women. And obviously, yeah, they couldn't hear him because they got earwax or, or yeah, wax full of ears full of candles. I don't know what mm. I'm trying to say here, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's pretty much the main part of that story. But there is a couple of little tidbits with that story. Okay. Yeah. So there was a man on board, or a, a sailor, if you will, a seaman. His name was Orpheus, and he was a musician that could play many instruments, and he used to play music loud enough to drown out the sirens singing as well. Oh, cool. So, but, unfortunately... He must have had a martial amp. <laughs> yeah, those things get pretty loud. <laughs> Can you imagine back in those days? Just one man just rocking <laughs> just out. it out. Like... <laughs> um, but there was one man... This Black Sabbath song won't be discovered for another 1,800 years, <laughs> yeah. but I'm doing it now, just like Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> so there was one man that he still heard the siren song, even with the wax in his ears... And the music playing over, he was still drawn in. And Uh-oh. that man's name, I'm going to say Butes. Okay. But it could be Butes. <laughs> Bu- booties. <laughs> booties. Booties, yeah, that would be what that is, yeah. So Booties still, <laughs> that does not sound right. <laughs> Did he wear booties? <laughs> yeah. And he just had a nice big booty as well. <laughs> That's why he was called Booties. Um, so Booty still heard the siren song and threw himself overboard to get closer to the sirens. But just before he drowned, he was saved by Aphrodite, who rescued him and transported him to Sicily. And Sicily is said to be the home of the sirens. Oh, out of the frying pan into the fire then, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's a lot of the, the research. As obviously, um, sirens and mermaids are uh, supposedly located in a lot of different locations but sicily kept coming back up and that is um supposed to be the kind of main central hub of where these mermaids and sirens used to hang out well but yeah sicily's just what slightly to the west of um greece and that mm, isn't it? The, yeah the adriatic sea is it that goes around the, like the greek islands and that and sicily's me. kind of the border in it from between the, the the mediterranean and the i'm sure it's called the adriatic sea you know what? Oh, have I got in your head? No, there's a <laughs> there's a third booty because Italy oh, okay. is shaped like a boot. Oh yeah. So it, booties yeah. with his booty wearing booties ended up near a booty. Yeah. So, I mean, that's being just kicked blown. by a booty. <laughs> yeah. That's just blowing my mind. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was kind of interesting that Sicily seems to be the main place, and okay. also there is also reports of evil sirens 
from Sicily and other surrounding areas kind of uh, living in, not just on rocks, but on piles of bones from their victims. Or from the many, many victims. Yeah, that they had. Oh, as if to enough. kind of show off and be like... Well, those would be the first artificial islands ever created then, wouldn't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Fair play. So, do you know how to defeat a siren? Um, no. I was trying to think <laughs> of something witty quickly, but no, 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 no. nothing's come to mind. <laughs> So this is uh, a little bit silly, but sirens can be defeated by being foiled, so they commit suicide. What, you wrap them in foil? <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> so if they try all these tricks on, on the sailors and try singing and... In... Oh, luring them in. Luring yeah, yeah. them in, and all of that fails, they perish because they haven't done their job. So essentially it's kind of, yeah, just, oh, right, okay. they end up... Killing themselves in a way. So are they? Is it called metaphysical, where it only exists if you believe in it? Is that oh. is that the right word? I don't know, but You're I'm, gonna, smart, I'm running with it. <laughs> <laughs> You're the smart one out like of Santa too, Claus. So. You know, he, he exists if you believe in him, and if you don't, then you don't get any presents. Santa's real, isn't he? If, if you believe in him, yeah. Oh, well, it's metaphysics. <laughs> I, I, I'm assume. leaning on that as though I know what I'm talking about, it, but <laughs> yeah. you watch next week. We'll go. Uh, that thing we said last week wasn't quite yeah. right. <laughs> Typical so. Josh fashion. So here we get to. We're starting to get to the crossover bit that you asked right. about. Okay. So meanwhile, fish-tailed humans started showing up in Mesopotamian art in 1830 BC, but they were usually painted as mermen. Right, hang on, that's quite a lot earlier than the sirens. Yeah, yeah, so this is pretty much mermaids and mermen. So sirens were the birds. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 it's, it's all right. I, I just thought sirens were like the original, but obviously Mesopotamian Empire was a lot well, earlier, wasn't it? So, And they already had drawings of fish people. Yes, Fair yeah, enough. but they were mainly men, but it was the odd woman was in the art. But it was like uh, almost like Poseidon and um, you know, like gods and kings. Was, right, yeah. It was all kind of painted as mermen. Oh, but right. yeah, I probably should have done that the other way around. <laughs> and, yeah, no, um, no, that's, that's... the mermaids first. It was just because I had like kind of more info on the on origins the sirens. of the sirens. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, they just turned up in Mesopotamian art, and also this is very interesting. Mermaids uh, were. In other countries, so Arabia and Middle Eastern, mm -hmm. they were snakes with wings. So there was no human aspect to it. No? It was snakes with wings. And that's what Fair they enough. considered a mermaid. So right. this is where it starts. Yeah, I know, it's it's a bit confusing. You can see why I was trying to put this up. I think this was the point where I was like, Par, I don't know if I want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> It started confusing myself. A mermaid like, is a snake with wings. Basically, yeah. quits a quattle. Yeah, it's yeah. it's just very different around the world kind of thing. But that yeah. also comes back into it. Now, this is where the crossover comes in. So, in medieval times, sirens had officially stopped being drawn and depicted as bird ladies and were officially fish ladies. <laughs> Well, it kind of makes more sense than being fish ladies since they were trying to attract sailors. You know, you know, if you're out in the middle of the sea, it would make more sense for them to be half fish, wouldn't it, than bird? Get out of my head, pirate. Oh, That sorry. was the next bit. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you no, carry, was... carry on as though I didn't say that. No, you are right, though. That is the, the main thing was uh, in medieval times, it, everything you just said, but another one... Another reason, I should say, was bird ladies weren't as seductive and attractive to people as, yeah, as a I fish. Guess, yeah. I mean, to be honest, the choice of bird and fish isn't great if you're a human. No. But, <laughs> but yeah, they started um, evolving it, and then it was a fish lady by the 12th century. Fair well, enough. between the 12th and 14th century, roughly. No one knows because no one was around then. So, uh, But that's when it became officially no longer using bird ladies. And uh, ancient Greece had also evolved with sirens. And years later, they became 
just musically gifted, beautiful women using their allure and beauty. Oh, right. So okay. they eventually... There wasn't any evil intent in the, this No, one. no. Enough. So the, the Greek mythology have just changed over the years as well. And they evolved. Yeah, just evolved. Just the same as the sirens and mermaids did. Yeah. And they went from being birds into fish. <laughs> they evolved. <laughs> Yeah, and they were Backwards, also. But... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, didn't we evolve from fish <laughs> into land? Yeah. Well, maybe the so Greeks. That would be devolved then, I suppose, <laughs> isn't it? Unless the Greeks were onto something. Um, so I've drawn a little timeline there to stop myself from getting confused, but I think I've done an all right job. People can kind yeah, of keep up with the timeline, right, yeah. so I won't go over that. And to this day, though, some countries, the sirens are still bird ladies and mermaids are fish ladies. So they are completely separate. Oh, completely separate. separate. Fair enough, yeah. Now, this is where uh, you said earlier about something or rather... Oh, the, the snakes in the Middle East and... Yeah, yeah. Um, so it turns out that the Western world have mermaids and sirens as the same. Yeah. So to this day. Yeah. But if you went over to the Middle East or more towards Asia... Uh, they would still have the sirens as bird people and Separate they would still entities have to the mermaids, snakes yeah. with wings and things like that. It's only actually kind of us and America and the western side of the world that sirens and mermaids are to this day the same thing. Just okay. evil and nice versions. Fair enough, yeah. So, <clears throat> now, um, obviously I don't need to say that. <laughs> Mermaids have always been involved with the ocean and sailors. Well, yeah. And also, I should just make a little side note, because I found this quite interesting. When I was doing my research, because I was I was trying to find out more stories and more stuff to, to read, I thought, oh, I wonder if they were ever involved with pirates. And I... Yes! <laughs> yes. So I thought, I'll Google some pirates and see what's going on. When did they start? I saw some reports say that pirates started in the second century, and then it was the fifth century, then the sixth, then the eighth, and then I read this lovely little paragraph that said, pirates as we know as the swashbuckling pirateers with the beards and the peg legs and the parrots, apparently yeah. that didn't happen until the 16th and the 17th century. Yeah, probably around then, but pirates... As pirates, as mm. seagoing folk that uh, just want to hijack other ships and steal and loot and pillage and wench and drink grog. They've been around for as long as boats have, mate. Yeah. See, I didn't know that because when I think pirates, obviously my first thought is you. And then my yeah. second thought is like Blackbeard and I mean, all if, that. if you go by the Gospel of the Flying Spaghetti Monster... <laughs> uh, the, the pirates were quite happy when the, the the great flood happened, and then Noah actually tried putting them on a on a on a, on a better on a different path, and they were all quite happy just drinking mm. grog and wenching and whoring and pillaging, <laughs> and you know so yeah they've been around forever, mate. Pirates they are our ancestors. Yeah, I believe it, and I think pirates of the Caribbean have done a really good job in look, making pirates look fun and yeah, kind of make you want to. Be a pirate. They've sensationalised it, haven't they? Really? Yes. I suppose, yeah. Because uh, I mean, being a pirate, it's 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 not all ladybirds and butterflies, mate. It's, <laughs> uh, take it from me. But with the research that I said about pirates, apparently pirates have always been around, just like mermaids have always been around. So they've been around for thousands and thousands of years. So I could oh, I, I, you could almost say they're just natural enemies. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah throw a kraken in there, and we're sorted. Yeah. So, and, but that takes me pretty much all the history and everything I could find on right. it. I couldn't pinpoint uh, certain things. It was a bit all over the place. So now I'm going to take you to more recent times, just fun little facts and stuff. Yeah, go for it. So I'm not going to take credit for this because you actually mentioned this to me and I thought, I've seen The Greatest Showman and I didn't know this was a thing. I missed this part. Ah, P.T. Barnum. Yeah. Oh, Barnum. I put Burnham. Barnum. P.T. Barnum. <laughs> um, he brought the Fiji mermaid to an American museum, but it turned out to be a hoax. Well, that is correct, yeah. And for those people who don't know what he put in the museum, Pirate, would you like to tell them <laughs> what he put in the museum? Uh, well, it, it was actually him and his uh, sidekick. Um, <clears throat> I think he's played by Zac Efron in the film. Yes, yeah, it, yeah. Th them two were actually, like really conniving pair 
Yeah. Like, so P.T. Barnum would go, like, oh, I've got this thing. And then, like, the Zac Efron Eff- bloke could would go, like, oh, no, I don't believe you. And then they'd have, like, this very public feud about it, which would just create a buzz. Oh, that's and then, quite clever. They're, yeah, very clever techniques. But, yeah, um, P.T. Barnum actually created uh, the, the, the only known specimen of a, a mermaid by fusing the, I think it was, like, the back end of, it, like, another tuna fish or something like that <laughs> with... A monkey, a a shaved monkey body. Yeah, a juvenile monkey, and I think I found large cod. Oh, was it cod? Yeah, 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 I think that's what I found in the research. So it was almost like good cop, bad cop between them. Oh, yeah, 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 very much. Yeah, they were, they were, they they were underhanded, let's say. Very clever Mm. salesman, very clever, but very underhanded as well. Yeah, that is very smart. And I don't know if you know this, but the French word for mermaid is siren. <laughs> oh, there's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> That's and, how the two were linked then. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I've got a couple cool little things. Very cool little things. Now, I stumbled across this as I was finishing the research. I just thought, oh, I'll just type in different types of mermaid. Just for a laugh. And I didn't expect anything to come up. Different types of mermaid. Yeah, I didn't know either. Right. This is what I mean. I completely stumbled across it, and I thought, surely not. These are a thing. I found the two best ones, because some of them were a bit lame. It was like um, a, a bald mermaid. And I'm like, well, it's not really any different. It's just got no hair. Uh, so, it wouldn't be very um, uh, alluring, would it? No, exactly. <laughs> It'd look more like P.D. Barnum's <laughs> mermaid. <to be> <laughs> yes, it would. Yeah. <laughs> it would actually look like a chimp and a fish. Um, but there is a two-tailed mermaid Ooh. in uh, Scottish folklore. Oh, right. And it's called a Kelpie. Oh, yes. Now, I have heard of Kelpies, actually, yeah. And what's great about them is they can live in fresh and salt water, and they have the ability to shapeshift into hippos or horses. Right, useful. <laughs> hippos in Scotland. <laughs> yep. Right, OK. Yeah, I wasn't, didn't see that one coming. <laughs> and... This one. I'm not sure any Scottish people would see that coming either. <laughs> no. The hell's that? <laughs> is that a hippopotamus? <laughs> now, this one is even better. These ones are Irish mermaids. Right. And they're called Merrows. Uh, I don't think I've heard of that one. And they need a magical hat to be able to travel between water and land. <laughs> right. Fair enough. A ma- magical hat of seaweed. Yeah, I feel a bit bad for the Irish because, like, some of their mythical things, like, you have the leprechaun, and it's not really that interesting, is it? It's just a short ginger it's fellow. Little people, yeah. Yeah, and it's like, now they're throwing a marrow at us, and it's like, oh, he needs a magical hat to travel. And you're like, it's you kind of lame. I'm a leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably what happened. <laughs> And it's all just, oh, just come out with some better mythology. Maybe there is some that we haven't discovered yet. I'm not going to poo-poo all over the Irish folklore because I'm sure no, Irish stuff... people are lovely, so, you know. Oh, some of my family are Irish, I'd say. And I don't want to prematurely yeah, yeah, offend because yeah. there could be don't something out there. Don't want to break relations there. <laughs> no, no. Um, so that pretty much draws me to the end of the podcast. So I just want to mention... The obvious now, basically. So to this day, you have kids' parties with mermaids. You can actually hire Yeah, you, you can buy the, uh, the mermaid tail thing, can't you? <laughs> yeah. There's which like I was... a snuggle warm, like, like a onesie type thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, which I was saying to you earlier, it must be so difficult to swim in those, but they must learn. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so you can hire professional mermaids for parties, and apparently the kids love it. I've seen a couple of videos at parties and oh, things. Oh, if you have like a swimming pool party, or yeah, like yeah, that. you just get mermaids swimming around. Yeah, and uh, they do like um, do your hair and things like that, and you can go swimming with a mermaid. It actually, looks quite fun to be yeah. fair. Yeah. Um, well, but maybe, you can hire maybe those. for your next birthday, mate. You know, I'll uh, treat <laughs> oh, you. I think my wife would have something to say <laughs> if you brought a half naked mermaid lady around. Here you go, Josh. Here's your birthday present. <laughs> She'd be like, what is going on? <laughs> You're like, what are you going to do? It's got a fishtail. <laughs> <laughs> There's other way. Um, so, <laughs> then that leaves us with the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid. 
and under the sea. Yeah, it's the most famous mermaid. The Is film... it though? Is it well, Josh? You mention one film. That... Tom Hanks was in the film, man, in nineteen eighties. As I was a little pirate baby boy, a little boy, I couldn't get enough of uh, Daryl Hannah in the film Splash, mate. <laughs> Honestly, I you mean, know, I'd never seen it. Have you? You've still not seen it. Never seen it. No. no, it's it's brilliant film. Like Tom Hanks is this guy who, like, when he was little, he fell off a boat into the water and he was rescued by this mermaid. Mm. And this mermaid kind of uh, uh, tracks him down in in his later life, and she can magically come on land. And when she dries off her tail, they turn into legs, so nobody suspects she's a mermaid. And they have this lovely, lovely. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it is a rom com sort of thing, you know, they have this lovely relationship and then he finds out that she's a mermaid and then, like, the, the scientists take her away and they want to experiment on her and cut her up and he has to free her and take her back to the sea and all that sort of thing. Epic movie, mate. Epic. Far better than The Little Mermaid. It sounds like Free Willy, but with a mermaid. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, wasn't, she wasn't that fat, either. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you say it's good, I might have to check it out. I think there was a Splash 2 as well, but I don't, oh, I, come I, on. I don't remember seeing that one. That one didn't have Tom Hanks in it. it? <laughs> but this might surprise people. The Little Mermaid, uh, most people would know it as the animated Disney film from 1989. Yes. 89, was it? Yeah, yeah. I remember being fairly young when it, that was released as well. But the actual story came from, if I remember correctly, Hans Christian Andersen... Yeah. In 1837. Yes. And he originally wrote The Little Mermaid. And, and Dis Disney adapted it. Yeah. Um, which is kind of good in a way because I think that kind of... Uh, although mermaids and stuff have always kind of been folklore and they've been out there, The Little Mermaid's kind of what got all these kids and generations yeah. into mermaids yeah, and yeah. all of that. So... I mean, it revitalised the old mermaid lit myth, really, didn't it? Yeah, and to this day, you kind of you don't really hear about evil mermaids or sirens anymore. No, not so much. It's it's all mermaids to me in modern day times is it's all for little kids and it's all fiction, but it's it's kind of nice. So anyway, I think we're pretty much at the end of uh, mermaid here, aren't we? Oh yeah, there's nothing left to say. So. Uh, it's, it's, um, on a paranormality scale, how far below five are you putting it? <laughs> um, well, I think that with the modern days of mermaids and the way it's kind of evolved and kids love it, I would hate that for if I have a future daughter, I wouldn't want her to see a podcast where her dad is slating mermaids, being like, oh, they're rubbish and stuff. She'd be heartbroken. Right. So just based off the fact that if I ever have a daughter, <laughs> I'm going to give it a little bit more than zero. Right. So I don't think that mermaids existed in modern times. I think they're just literally a folklore story back in the day. Yeah. I, I don't know. I there's, I was saying to you, there's, there's no... very little like, scientific evidence yeah. of any kind of mermaids or anything. It's not like with Bigfoot and aliens where there's supposed sightings and videos and uh, people go out looking for it. There's never no. really videos of mermaids. So because of that, I'm going to give it a two. A two? <laughs> yeah, I'm giving it a two. I'm going to get a 1.1. 1. 1. <laughs> <laughs> a 1. 1. That's very specific, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 1.1. So that is our average of 1.65. Damn. I've done that last time as well. But that's it. That's all I got on my own, mate. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was a good effort. I'll give you that. You, you were pretty much... You, it, it was a hard one. If um, anyone out there can find... More information or any stories, more that, evidence, more evidence, then please write it in. But I mean, that's the best I could do. And I spent about four hours looking at mermaids <laughs> and sirens, <laughs> and I could just feel my brain turn into mush the more I was looking I'll it up. Bet you so, could. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. That's all well, I've got for that's you. fair enough. Well, uh, uh, if you at home um, think you're a mermaid, mm -hmm. you probably need psychological help. <laughs> um, if you know a mermaid, you also probably need psychological mm. help. 
Um, Unless but, you're a professional mermaid. Yeah, if you're a professional mermaid and do children's birthday parties, please get in contact so I can get you for Josh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> and watch me get divorced. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, uh, if, you, if you've got uh, anything that you'd like to add to the episode, please write in paranormality.uk at gmail.com. Uh, you can come and find us on TikTok, Instagram, uh, on Discord. You know, we're, we're always happy to have more people come and join our Discord. Um, also, with uh, news of our um, upcoming anniversary, yes. our one-year anniversary, we have kind of made a plan now, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, Halloween is on the Tuesday, and Halloween was the day that we launched. Mm-hmm. So, we'll have a special episode on the Tuesday, on the Halloween, Halloween episode, one year anniversary. Uh, we'll have a normal Monday po- uh, podcast, yep. which may be a little bit special. Mm-hmm. Don't know, we haven't thought that far ahead yet. And we're going to do the live stream on the Sunday, just beforehand, yeah? Yeah. It's probably around maybe two or four o'clock, something like that. Yeah. Uh, Greenwich Mean Time. Um, so we'd love to have you all there for the live stream or live cast, you could call it. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, if if you if you're a fan, if you're a follower, please be there. We'd love to have you all there. Have a little bit of a party. We're just going to have a few drinks and a, a bit of a social one. Um, it's. I don't think we've really got any sort of topic in mind for that one. Is no. it? It's just more of a, hey, look at us, we made it a year. Yeah. <laughs> See what's going on. Exactly. So that, there'll be live stream Sunday, normal episode Monday, extra special bonus episode on the Tuesday, on the Halloween, and we may even, hopefully, fingers crossed, have a special guest in for that yeah, one. Yeah, hopefully. We're yeah, hoping. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah, uh, uh, and, and until then... I've been Pirate. I'm Josh. And this has been Paranormality UK. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.